Hey there, friend. My name is Kyle. Real revelations everywhere. In this video, I want to discuss in depth what it is to have a powerful, healthy, and effective mentality. It is the basis of all effective learning. It is the basis of being a good person that can help a lot of people in a lot of ways and it is the basis of proving to yourself that you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to i don't care who you are trying to become or what you're trying to get done it's possible if you think about it the right way you could be going for top rocket surgeon in your class or you just want to be the best at flipping burgers whatever that means to you all of these lessons will apply in one way or the other there's really no avoiding it if you are going into and approaching everything that you do with the attitude that you are already winning that is the case you can determine whether you're winning or not based purely off of your attitude and your approach to learning and at the end of the day it's entirely up to you to determine that whether you're winning or not and when you understand that you are winning no matter what no one can take that from you and you can find a reason to always have a smile on your face and be grateful for everything that you have and the people that you know and that all starts with really being genuine and honest with yourself not trying to build yourself up in the wrong ways by lying to yourself and not acknowledging the things that you need to fix at the end of the day you're only lying to yourself and that's what really matters if you can't tell yourself the truth you are actively failing and there's no reason to be afraid of it when you really understand that it's all progress that you can improve and learn in every bad situation to prevent that situation from happening again or learn a new technique that you wouldn't be able to uh, have learned from only ever winning winning in your life it's never that simple but you can come to understand that you determine how effective you are and how you take criticism and identifying what is useful from a from the standpoint that you need to be real with yourself and not judge yourself from the standpoint that we all make mistakes and it's okay that those that's how you grow from the standpoint that you can't assume things because when you do that you're not telling yourself the truth it's all of these simple concepts that are the most difficult things for so many people to grasp just not taking things personally and knowing why you go about the things that you do and understanding that you want to get better that's what matters if you want to get better who cares how bad you are at something right now? You're going to get better. So don't judge yourself 
and take things personally, that's only where you are right now. If you're looking ahead to what it takes each and every day to become a better person step by step, you're always winning and you have nothing to be afraid of. If you know why you do what you do, no one else can judge you for that. And there's no reason to take all of this all of this perceived harsh criticism the wrong way when you can evaluate it for yourself and determine whether or not it applies to you. The only thing that matters is that you understand that you want to get better and when that is the case you will be able to identify why you aren't as effective as you could be in a lot of different situations and you have to be able to break down the way that you go about things and get rid of a lot of the bad habits to be able to really dig deep and set a strong foundation. You have to break it all the way down and start back up with the truth. And you are never gonna be able to tell yourself the truth when you take everything personally. There's no real reason to take everything personally when you know why you do things. And if you're doing things for the right reason and you want to get better, you need to get better, and you are willing to go far enough to be genuinely honest with yourself about your shortcomings and also what you are actually good at, which goes hand in hand, it's gonna make all the difference in the world. You can't have a bunch of debris all over the place you gotta start from a place of honesty a clean slate you're never going to be able to paint the picture that you want with a canvas that started dirty you have to start over from the beginning and tell yourself the honest truth and when you are trying to do that, you can't take things personally, and you, at the same time, you can't assume things that you are not entirely sure of. And you'll find when that is the basis of how you talk about everything with other people and with yourself, you're going to start using your words differently. You are going to not be able to speak in generalities. You're not going to be able to voice your opinion without qualifying it first. And that is very important to use your words correctly and not use your words against yourself. When you're telling yourself the real truth, you're going to find that you start speaking very differently about everything. And that is something that you'll find that I put a lot of effort into is speaking extremely intentionally. That I pick my words very, very, very carefully to not misrepresent the points that I'm trying to get across, to not lie to myself, to make it a point to dismantle all of the bad habits in every way that I could be doing to myself unintentionally. I focus on the way that I say everything <laughs> and it makes all the difference in the world when you really come to find that those things hold you back in every way 
you can't let it happen anymore. As soon as you start to notice it and hear it, it's going to be deafening. And that's when you know that you're going about things differently and you're making lasting change. I do not speak in generalities. Whenever I get the chance, I qualify my statements. If it's my opinion, I have to say that. I have to qualify it. And when I tell myself that I am one thing or another, it has to be positive because that is the truth. Because I try very fucking hard every day. I know why I do things. I know why I go about what I am going, the way that I go about it to accomplish what I need to get done. It's always in love. I cannot hold myself back with all of these preconceived notions about everybody's this or that. I don't know that. And I will not judge other people in that way. I try to understand what other people are going through in every way that I can. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's a long process that takes a lot of reflection and self-inventory to really dig deep and be honest with yourself that is one of the hardest things that i can ever ask of you but it is the most important thing that you can do for yourself is realizing how much you lie to yourself about all this stuff and the way that you use your words against you you are holding yourself back more than anyone else ever could when you do that when you judge other people the way that you don't want to be judged yourself being hypocritical in that way is extremely dangerous to all of your goals and dreams and hopes it's not good enough to use a single word against yourself is an egregious error that you cannot afford to make like I know I've already said before you don't need to make it any harder on yourself. You cannot be hurting yourself. The basis of a quality, healthy, effective mindset is never holding yourself back in as many ways as possible. You don't need to do it to yourself. It's already hard enough. It's already hard enough. You can't be beating yourself. And you, as soon as you're beating yourself, you are also beating your teammates. They don't need you to be a double agent, just like you don't want any of your other teammates to be on the other team. You need all of them, every single one. And you don't need to add more people to the other army. <laughs> that is not helpful. And that may sound simple, but there's so many ways that you're doing it to yourself every single time. You have to recognize it and not only do everything that you can to not do it again, but make it a point to tell yourself that the exact opposite is true. You gotta help yourself win, and it starts with telling yourself that you can. Every single day, every time you try anything, you do have the ability to get it done. It's all about how you think about it. And there's a lot of really effective things that you can do throughout the day to not let it continue. The first thing that you can do is work on not taking things personally. Just like you will never truly understand who I am 100%. I will never truly understand who you are your motives the things that have helped shape you throughout your time the people that you know the reasons that you know the things that you know are only for you to know 
you have to prove what you are about to everyone else around you every day for before anyone believes anything that you have to say and in the exact same vein of not taking things personally because other people don't know you you can't assume other things about people you are providing yourself dangerous misinformation just like you need to prove your worth to other people and what you are about you have to let other people show you what they are about talk is cheap that shit means nothing unless you back it up and you better not believe other people until they show you that is the case and you need to be able to identify whether or not they're telling you the truth a lot of people are relying on the fact that you are just going to take what they have to say for granted and you cannot allow that you gotta they need to pony up just like you do and you need to not judge people for the mistakes that they make just like you don't want to be judged for your mistakes it's gonna go so so far when you show people you are willing to give them that leeway when you need it yourself and it's up to you to take that first step and not allow people to ruin that part of your personality to not become jaded over time and not take it to heart when you're lied to and hurt and beaten down and you feel like nobody wants to help you you have to know better you have to know that you are willing to go that far for other people and prove that you can break that cycle to everyone else and that is in my mind the first two technically three of the four agreements that I have taken to heart you may have heard of them before and you may have already identified what I have to say those are the first steps to becoming a good teammate no matter what sport you play no matter what field you take if you want to help other people help you you have to show them that you are going to come their way first before you can expect anything real of them and there are a lot of ways to go about it but the only thing that allows all of that to stand on its own is understanding that there's a lot of misinformation out there and you can't be feeding it to yourself knowing whether or not someone is genuinely trying to help you or not is in a lot of ways borderline impossible because you can't truly ever know what people's motivations genuinely are but a lot of people are willing to say a lot of things and most of it is noise let's say you join a ranked match of some kind whatever it is let's say you join a ranked match in counter-strike or valorant and right off the bat you have someone that is trying to tell you that maybe your character selection doesn't fit the team properly now what a lot of people would do right off the bat is immediately shut down what they have to say and just assume that they already know better for one reason or another whether you do or not whether what they have to say is valid or not doesn't matter 
until you are willing to genuinely consider what they have to say. If you just cut them off immediately, the conversation isn't happening and you aren't working within a team as effectively as you can be. So whether it comes down to maybe helping them realize that this is probably the best character that you can play in this situation or you're most comfortable with this setup on this map or you're trying something new that you are trying to develop in a competitive environment that you've been working on and maybe they don't understand the entire situation maybe they just don't know what they're talking about no matter what it comes down to and it's going to be different in every situation if you aren't working with them to understand the same thing that you understand for this situation you aren't coming together as a team as effectively as you can be and it doesn't have to be a hard-nosed no it's this way or that way if you go about it with the approach that you want to know what they know and you want them to know what you know you can find a middle ground where a decision can be made and you can move forward with a better plan in place you can learn from each other and ask questions within your team that will help everyone understand the scenario that you're in whether it's well do you think we need more utility because i was relying on this specific ability to enable more information or i was planning on using this to defend this section of the map and I saw it done really effectively in a few other games, or I think we have enough of that. Do you think maybe this would be more helpful than adding more on top of it? Or a lot, it's a lot of different variables that will add up to, are you sure this is the way that you think it is? And genuinely acknowledging what they have to say will go a long way in you adding to your own game knowledge as well over time. Immediately cutting people off and not considering what they have to say just because you don't like the sound of their voice is a shitty way to be. And critically thinking about the situation in a team setting will only ever be valuable to everyone. Whether you are teaching someone else new techniques or you are just maybe going out on a limb and just giving what they have a shot if you are adding to your repertoire one way or the other or you are reinforcing positive information that you have if you're working within the team you are getting better one way or the other and in the same vein not assuming that you automatically know better is going to enable all of that you can't assume just because you've seen something happen and work decently to pretty to very well a few times that that is just the case either you have to test everything that you know over long periods of time and collect a larger sample size. So relearning everything, put re putting everything to the test over and over and allowing it to stand the test of time and also not assuming that you are as good at that as you can be or your competition level hasn't changed and assuming that it's going to work over 
multiple competition levels and only trying to climb that way is going to work that's just not the case you have to apply it at every level as many times as you can and you need more data to analyze whatever that looks like just because you're really good at rise mid doesn't mean you can take it into any lane against any level of competition just because you've played rise for 10,000 hours doesn't even necessarily mean you're a good player and that also doesn't mean that you're the best rise in the world either or even close to it there are a lot of people that probably play rise better than you do just because they are fundamentally stronger players and having that situational awareness and not assuming that you are already doing things the best way is going to lend itself to you learning more over time. And that can be applied to your professional career as well. If you aren't always trying to figure out a better way to do literally everything all the time, you are not going to be as good as you can be. And you can't assume that you are at any one point or the other without really testing that theory. And most people can't do that on their own, I would say. It's a lot more difficult than it sounds, even. But critically thinking about each individual aspect of the situation is going to require you to disassociate your ego with the situation. Objectively observing each different scenario is required. And that is the only way you can do that is to tell yourself the truth, don't take things personally, and don't assume things about other people and what they were thinking in that situation either. You can't know until they tell you and prove that that was the case. And it goes both ways. Luckily for you and I, we determine how we react to things and process what we are told. That is our that is our power over everything. How we go about every little thing and absorb all these details and looking at it in the right light and changing your perspective over time as you learn more things. That is who you become. And protecting yourself from bad information is going to lend itself to becoming stronger over time that is your superpower to possess that is what makes you you at the end of the day and it's something to protect dearly and when other people see that you move differently with different intentions they want to be around you they want to know how you do it it's attractive and when people want to get better with you that's what makes the difference that is the beginning of creating long-lasting relationships that stand the test of time. They will be tested as well. It's going to be up to you to forgive. And knowing better from the start, as soon as possible, knowing better that your intentions are good and that 
you don't judge other people for what they're going through because you don't truly know because you aren't assuming things about people anymore you speak differently to people and you're more forgiving and people believe you when you tell them that you care and when you have to tell them difficult things they will believe you that much more because they know that their best intentions are what you are focusing on you've proven it to them over long periods of time that's what real family is made of is bonds that last when you prove to people that you care more than anything that is what matters and if you can begin to do that for yourself you will see how easy it is to do it for everyone around you and it makes all the difference in the world whether people believe you or not at the end of the day and it is one of the most powerful things that you will ever learn to do it will set you up for success in every single other thing that you need to get done i believe that with everything inside of me at the end of the day you got to be good to yourself before you can be good to anyone else you got to be safe, stay dangerous, and take it easy. Good luck with everything that you want to get done. Follow your dreams and never give up. Never ever. And that's going to lead me directly into part two.